overseas candidates. They're from a different culture than what you may be used to if you're coming from the host office as you go through or the home office, all depends as you're going through the process. You gotta see their motivation sometimes. Sometimes people like to work for a foreign country because it's kind of cool as you go through. Most of the time it's about money, the compensation benefits. Do they understand what's required in the aspect of choosing candidates for overseas assignments? What about working and living overseas? Where are you going to live? What's going to be expected of you as an employee of the corporation to represent your company on a 24-7 basis? Because by the way, you will be watched, maybe not by the military police, but by the population out there to observe your values as to how they're different from theirs. And if they want to have you as a corporate representative in their country at all as you go through. What about the spouse's attitude towards an overseas assignment? If they fight before they even start, you're going to have a problem, especially in the first year as they go over there, because they may not want to be there at all, and you may have a serious problem. And not, not much as it's nice to say that those are not work problems or outside the work problem, you put them there, so you have to deal with it, because that's going to affect the mental health and well-being of the employee that you decide to go over there in the process as well. What about health issues as you go through? That can have a big, if somebody's sickly all the time and they go to a country where there's different types of germ levels you're used to experiencing over here, just even the pollen itself can be very different. If I, I, I lived in the desert for a while as you go through and, and the biggest pollution that we had was PM13, particulate matter 13 as you went through, a teeny tiny micro aspect of it, of dust particles that was common in the desert air. And if you had a problem with allergies, sometimes that would, it wouldn't affect it because the allergies would be gone, but all of a sudden particulate matter 13 would sit down there and infiltrate the lungs. And people, some people had major health issues and they had to leave that type of environment as you go through. Health can be a big issue as you go through. What about language as you go through? Some people simply cannot sit down and have an ear for a different language. I can read body language a lot of times on people from North America, but I cannot read body language at all on the aspect of Asians in the process. When they're talking, I'm trying to sit there, read their face, watch their facial expressions in relation to the conversation. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't click in my mind as you go through. The words are difficult for me. If I have something that really comes from a European language, to some extent, I can learn some, some Spanish, some Italian, and some French. But that being said, I struggle with that too. I'm just happy to be able to speak English on a regular basis. Language ability, I don't have much there in the process at all. What about the aspect of other candidates as you go through? Is that a requirement in the job? Is it just cultural understanding them, having a translator setting up? A lot of times people are insulted by the fact that you're there for three years and never learn their language when they want, they're expected to learn your language in the process. That becomes a big issue and sometimes a dividing issue as you go through. By the way, does your spouse have to learn the language as well? Family consideration, how many moves has the family made in the US? What kind of problems are there? You know, in HR, we rarely talk about it in the United States, but now you're talking about moving an employee and their family because they want to take their family with them or maybe abandon their family here for years at a time as you go through, which is even more difficult in the process. Now you have to talk about family. What's a spouse's goal in a move? How many children ages are they moving? Is the divorce or its potential? Will this thing divide the family to the point there's a divorce involved? And if there's so, what happens? What about the death of a family member? What happens with that? Do you have a special plan already in place in case somebody dies here or a different country as you go through? How do you deal with that? And what about the adjustment problems expect such as the family move overseas? Do you have a plan to teach them about the culture before they move as they go through? Do you have somebody that can tell them all the different things that you go through? Do you have a trial program to, to, to give them meals from a different country to sit down there and sample as you're gonna go over there so you can order when they first get there? There's a lot of things in training as you go through. Is the candidate independent and standing by their decisions in the face of adversity in a different world as you go through? Can they meet objectives and produce results wherever they're at as they go through? Can they operate without a clear definition of res responsibility and authority? Because things do get fuzzy as you go through. Can they explain the goals of the company to local managers and workers? 
They need to be able to be the face of the company, even if they're not the boss in that country, they need to be the face of the country to talk to people on a regular basis, to the workers, to the managers, to make certain they espouse the philosophy of the company in that foreign nation as you go through. Do they possess that self-discipline and competence to handle complex problems? Because problems here are, are multiplied and magnified in a different country as you go through. Can they operate effectively without normal communications in, the, in support services? Can they operate independently as you go through? Are they adaptable? Can they cooperate with people? Can they listen to the opinions of others? Even from others that are having a hard time expressing themselves as you go through, maybe culturally as you go through, and can the person compromise to get things done on behalf of the company? These are types of questions that really need to be asked and really assessed before you sit down and send them over there on an overseas assignment. Does the candidate react to criticism? Will the candidate be able to make and develop contacts with peers, people of the same level in different organizations as you go through, people in the government? Do they demonstrate patience to deal with problems? Think about the aspect of career planning. What about, the, they, does a candidate realize that they may be out of the loop from the main office or does the main office have a program to keep them inclusive as you go through? What about the overseas assignment with the career development? Is that person gonna be left out? Or is it a different track overseas as you go through? What's your attitude toward the company? All of this is the aspect of the career planning and now you dive into the financial part. What happens when you're sitting down and, and have this huge difference in, in wage? Are you going to try to sit down there and cut their salary to meet something local down there? You don't really need $100,000 to be over there. You can get by on $38,000. Huh? You want me to take a pay cut from $100,000 to $38,000? No, thanks. As a matter of fact, the company down the street, they're hiring. I'm going to go apply there. Thank you very much. Yes, you may have that kind of attitude as you go through. Be cautious on this financial area. Make certain there's a good package that makes sense, not just to the company, but also to the employee as you go through. Cross-training, cultural self-awareness is a big thing. Culture in the work environment, yes, it does spill over there. Pay attention to it as you go through. Communication differences, not just in the words spoken, but sometimes in the way that they're spoken, sometimes in the body language as it's spoken as well as you go through. Be cautious on that as you go through. Adjustment factors, you've got a whole shopping list here. Family life, living quarters, work-life balance, if there is such a thing as you go through. Pollution, traffic, the beauty of the location or the ugliness of the location. Leisure time, job and task characteristics, the work environment, the language, contact with those left behind. Sometimes no matter what happens, we'll be friends forever. As you said that in college and you haven't seen them in 15 years or talked to them as you go through. Uh-huh, as you go through. Local friendships develop. You may have some, some friends that you pick up over there that end up being fabulous lifelong friends as you go through in the process. A lot of different things. We talk about the global context, cost of living allowances, benefits as you go through. What about hospitalization? If it does it compare to hospital treatment here in the United States? What about tax equalization allowances as you go through? Pay attention to all that. Here is a simple balance sheet of compensation. As you go through in human resources, since human resources is usually the one that determines compensation, you'll have to develop something like this on your own. Here is a sample thing of a balance sheet for determining compensation, and it's going to be different for every corporation, and you better pay attention to make certain that the employee views it as equitable for them and their family as well as you go through when you talk about the aspect of going to a different country. Sometimes when they come back, there's a reverse cultural shock. They may go abroad and find there's some really cool things that people do in their country that we simply don't do here. And they really like it that, oh my God, I can't believe they don't do that over here. I love that over here as you go through. I've seen that just in my limited travels as you go through. A lot of times the aspect of communication and validation. I told you this over here, da, 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 da. well, but this is how we do it here. Okay, so you got a job, non-work expectations as you go through. There's a lot of things about candidates. We talk about overseas candidates going there or coming back as you go through that can sit down there and jar somebody to the very core of their personal being as you go through. This is not an easy issue. It is a difficult issue. And the difficult issue a lot of times falls in the laps of the human resource management.
personal issues can become forefront issues, culture and being away, they can all be problematic. Family issues, things that we tend to ignore here in the United States can become huge. And the difference in equity between home office and foreign office on compensation and promotion and lots of other issues where you have a, a home office, a host office and so on can overwhelm everybody, including human resources. Take care.